that, children, is how Christmas presents are made. How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to Atlantia. My name is Sir Derpel, and this is episode five. So as you can see, Chuck and I were busy collecting a few heads because he needed that for the present hunt that he's busy setting up. So he needed the present heads. And we're quickly going to do the little... Uh, I wouldn't say I call it a centerpiece, but we're going to do a little thing over there. And I got all the stuff that we need over here, including, uh, if I can press button, right? Including the Santa head that we need. So let's just grab all of this and let's get into making a little bit of a Christmassy decoration. So first things first, let's try and build a little Santa's chair. I'm thinking something... Let's see, how am I going to do this? I'll do something like that. Uh, maybe some stairs up. Um, and then I'm thinking a little bit of that. Uh, no. Or actually, yes. Yes. How about this? Put some wool there. Some slabs up yonder makes a little bit of sense if you ask me and then we're gonna go like so nice big chair for santa santa's big boy yeah i think this is gonna work let's see we'll do that a little bit more of that nice big chair for santa all right let's let's give him some Backing probably something like that. Actually, let's turn these so they face this way. That looks a little bit better. Hmm. I mean, it doesn't look too bad. I think it looks alright. Um, what else do we have to work with here? Do, 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 do. Oh yeah, we're gonna do a little bit of banner age so let's put two santa banners like so let's put a little prezi banner up like actually let's move that one up just one more yeah give it a little bit of verticality righty actually let's put some of these up here and actually no that's the that's secret center so let's put the santa banners on that side like so and then we'll put some of these on this side. All right, the room's already looking a lot more lively. I think we'll get some, like maybe some mini Christmas trees or something up in here. Actually, I should probably go see if I have some spruce trees and pot plants or, or, or uh, clay pots. I think that'll do, that'll do. So then we are going to need, let's see. We're going to need a Santa. So here you go, Santa. There's your head. Put on some pants, my boy. Shoes. And a jacket. All right, let's get out the book. Let's see. We're going to need his arms. Sure enough, we're going to release him from gravity because Santa is magical. Then we are going to take away the base plate. Yeah. And we're going to go presets. Was sitting, or was it, what was it? It was not sitting, it was lazing. That's the one. Look at Santa. He's looking all schnazzy like that. And then we're going to bring him down a bit. Yeah, bring him down a little bit more. No, take him up a little bit. That's bums clipping. Actually, I think that's that's pretty decent. Um, actually, you know what? Let's take these ones. Oh, was it those ones? No, I don't think I want to take those ones away. I think I want to add more here. Yeah. Okay. That looks like a proper throne for a proper center. And then what we could do. Is 
something like so. I hope I have enough oak logs for this. Yeah. I don't know, it's very grandiose. This is not your average Santa, so. I think like so, yeah, that's good. And then this side, boom. You have to jump properly. Right, like that. Okie dokie. All right, and then we need, let's see, I need flower pots. See, flower pots, yes. Like that, and let's see. Put some, and we can put some flower pots up in here. Do that. All right, and the little Christmas trees. Can't really see them from there, so I think I'll put some up at the front here too. Like something like this, something like that. Like so, and like so. All right, now he's just surrounded by Christmas trees. I think that's nice. Um, yeah, do we have anything else that I don't, don't think so? All right. Well, that's a little something. And now the my server mate and everyone else can come over here. And then we can just sit on Santa's lap and take a little picture. Like so. There we go. All right. So now that we've done this, I actually just got word that my new cyberpunk suit is finished. So I'm just going to head out over that way, which is actually just down the road, like half a second. And we're going to go and check out our new cyberpunk suit. Let's see. No, 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 no. Yes. Okay. Okay. Cool. Let's go have a look. So right over here. Yeah, let's go pick up our shoe. And is there any changing rooms around here? No changing rooms. All right, I'm gonna build my own changing room then. Let's see. We'll take some of that. And we'll just take some of that. And we'll just make a changing room. Maybe like right here. Thank you. Thank you. And I'm just gonna get in here and quickly get changed. Little tight. Little, oh, okay. Okay. Let's see. Let's see what I got. Oh, baby. Oh, I like it. Oh, I like it. Right. It's not as formal as I originally pictured it to be when I ordered it, but. The first draft they sent me was uh, quite formal and it just didn't feel cyberpunky enough. This, this looks both cyberpunky and still just enough formal for me. I mean, I look like I've been sent by Cyberlife. But yeah, I really like it. I'm super happy. I think it looks awesome. What do you guys think? Huh? Huh? Do I look cool? I think I look cool. Yeah, boy. So I was just out here in the shopping district doing my uh, usual rounds of checking up on my shop. So this this one and the greenhouse over there with the lovely Christmas tree. And yeah, I, w I wouldn't say that it's been um, a particularly amazing week for sales, but it has. We've, we've sold a few rockets and some flowers and things over that side. We've made 59 diamonds, which I'm going to go over to the post office in a second to, to give Lux his cut of that. So we have a few rockets that we're going to have to restock today. And we also have quite a few on the flower fronts. I think the corn flowers are running really low and we're going to go and get some more wither roses. Um, the Wither with Rose farm at the moment is kind of broken. So that's actually going to be something that we're going to be doing to to get that fixed and ready to go for when we need it again. So let's have it head over to the post office, drop off some diamonds, and then we'll head over to the end and see what's what with the 
Wilrose farm. So just come here, drop off. I think I'll keep the majority of it. Thank you. And that's it. I'm gonna put these away. How many diamonds do I have now? 36 plus, all right, wait, let's make this into blocks and see what we got. That's another four blocks. We got 10 blocks, woo! I'm so rich. No, oh, I'm so poor. I really need to make more diamonds. I have a few ideas for some shops in the future. I will let you guys know as soon as I'm ready to figure out what I'm gonna do with those. Well, this, this way, this way. The end is this way. I actually haven't shown you guys this before, but this is the little staging area that we had for the dragon fight when we first did it on the server. We had an equipping station here for um, uh, everyone who was involved in the fight would get random gear and, and goodies um, for for the fight. So it would be, you know, so one guy would have to run in with maybe a sword if he's lucky. The other one would perhaps just get like a piece of chicken to hit the dragon with. Uh, and the, the armor was random, everything was random. But unfortunately, the guy who built it put a dispenser here instead of a dropper. And I know, yeah, okay, so uh, equipment station, you would require a dispenser, but not if you're gonna be putting TNT into the mix and making it blow itself up. So yeah, first guy that got the TNT blew up the machine and then we all just grabbed random stuff and went into the end. And here we are at the end. Messy old main island as, uh, <laughs> As usually happens with main islands, but we got all the we got all the uh, the the gateway portals opened. One one of the guys who used to be on the server came through and did a massive dragon fight run when he was working on something and opened up all of the portals. And the one we need to get to is right over here. Let's see if I can do this. Yes, and I'm in. Whoa. Okay, and there's the Wither Rose Farm. All right, so this is the older Raiseworks uh, prototech design that still had the trap door for the chicken. And the problem with this was that every time you loaded and unloaded the chunks, the Wither would get bored and shoot at something else, and then it would just end up breaking the whole farm. So I'm going to go with the new design. We put the bubble columns here, and it just means that Whenever the chunks get loaded, the uh, wither will just keep shooting at the chicken, but the bubble columns will take the heads up and over the chicken, and it'll never break. So we're going to do that now, and I'll be right back. All right, guys, we got the wither farm fixed up nicely. So as you can see, it's working now. The endermen are dropping down and getting killed by the wither. I, I can try and show you, but I'm really scared. Okay, so the wither is in there. He's killing them. And all the heads that he's shooting towards the chicken are just getting slightly nudged up and over. And if we come down here, we can see what the results are yielding. So we're already getting quite a bit of wither roses in. Ender poles are getting chucked into the void behind that wall. There's a little hole going all the way down into the void. And yeah, so I'm going to AFK here for a while and try and get some more wither roses in i've actually set it up so i can afk here by um <clears throat> just by covering everything in water i know the original design said that you know you don't need to do this because you can afk at the top there and nothing will load in but i don't know i feel safe in my little hole down here and as long as everything is spawning up there and everything's happening right down here and there's nothing spawning around because of the water I don't see why I can't just stay in my little hole here. Why is that not closing? Okay. Nothing can teleport into here. It's all good. I'm going to AFK and I'll get back to you guys when I have enough wither roses to stock the shop up again. So we've been AFK at the farm now for about half an hour. It's not even been that long. And yeah, as you can see, this thing is producing a butt ton so i'm gonna take some of this over to my shop and we're gonna get all the shops refilled properly stocked up and then we're good to go sweet and just like that the shop is fully restocked i got pretty much everything restocked 
<laughs> except for the one barrel that I open straight away. Yeah, I still need to fill up corn flowers at some point, but we'll do that a little bit later. And I've also refilled the rocket shop over there. So we come down here. Not all the slots, but mostly done. So we got all the duration ones, minus a few. We got some duration threes. I even restocked the airbags. So yeah, that's all done. So and just in case you guys were wondering where I got all the flowers from for the the shop for the greenhouse, this is Lux's gigantic flower farm. It produces every flower that it can. It even has a little section here that's in the swamp biome, so we can get the the, the blue orchids from that. And yeah, it's a bonkers design. Uh, probably overcomplicated in certain places, but it's his own design and he's proud of it and I'm happy that we have it. So yeah, this is where we get all our flowers from. And in here you can see this is where all the flowers are stored. So we got every, I've already cleared it out now because I filled up the shop. But yeah, we have every, every type of flower here. And yeah, that's, that's that. Okay, and then apparently there was one more thing that uh, has transpired in the shopping district, which is the results for the tech shop's uh, redstone competition. And I already know the results and it's, uh, well, it is what it is. Um, so here's the criteria, what it was judged on. I came in last, I'll show you in a sec why. Main reason is originality. And I mean, let's face it, I addressed this when I said that I was going to be building Uno over there. And yeah, that's pretty much where I lost all of my points. And I'm fine. I'm fine with it. I'm fine with it. I wanted Uno and now we have Uno and everyone can enjoy it. Um, so originality, I lost a bunch of points. Then how fun or enjoyability uh, did pretty decently there. Sayers machine is pretty awesome too. Um, I'm guessing Coadia might show that one in his video because they are base partners after all. And then hi, Mr. Fientum. Right. Uh, and then creativity. I didn't do too bad. I mean, it's not even my own thing, but apparently the decorations got me quite a few points there. Go away. Right, let's just die. Right, uh, thank you, Pedal. Then function did pretty well there. I think it's the one because of the replayability of it. Because um, Knight's Path built an actual like uh, TNT quarry machine thing, which was a pretty cool design. But as for like enjoyability, watching some TNT blow up, that was about the extent of it. And function it was quite functionable. Uh, but mine had replayability. I think that was where I got a lot of my points there. And then size, I'm actually surprised that I got more because I know Knight's machine was a hell of a lot bigger than mine. And I haven't seen Sayers yet, but I am very curious to go and check that out. So yeah, I came in last and it, it, it is what it is. Like I said, originality wasn't uh, part of the part of the design there. But I'm still happy with it. I'm, I'm, I'm no regrets, not a, none, none at all. And I heard that there was at least a little consolation prize for third place, and it was dropped in my mail. So first, third place prize, and nice than netherite ingot. That's freaking awesome. I, I do not have many netherite. I don't have any netherite ingots, and I think I have like two ancient debris. And then what's this? Achievement Unlock YouTuber. <laughs> okay, I think I know who this is from. Chuck probably finally figured out how to uh, do um, custom player heads. I'm guessing that's from him. He likes putting like prizes like that. I'm freaking Reddit silver, Reddit gold, and all that sort of stuff in uh, in my mail. So. I, I'm assuming that's from him. I really hope it is, because um, otherwise I'm going to feel bad if I guess that wrong. But yeah, let's uh, let's head back to the base and we'll go and... I wonder if I should just keep the netherite ingot as a memento for third place. 
I mean, I have all my netherite gear. Why would I even need to not... Why? why I should just keep it, right? Yeah. You know what? I'm going to put it up here for now. You guys tell me. What do you think? Should we just keep this one as uh, the prize itself? Or, I mean, maybe one day I need it. But I, I don't think, like, one netherite ingot isn't going to... Is it gonna kill me? And then let's put this one here with the the row of Chuck stuff. Although these ones, this is the yeah, reddit silver, reddit gold, reddit platinum. And then we got that. That's pretty cool. All right. All right, guys. And then one last thing to address before we end this episode. I know that I said I was gonna do this bar in this episode. However, the stuff that we did over at the shopping district took a little bit longer than I expected. And I already have a design it, um, ready to go for this. And it's looking super snazzy. And I think you guys are really going to like it. But I need a little bit more time to just flesh out some details and get the resources together. So probably in the next episode, we will be going on a bit of a nether adventure. We're going to go mining for some uh, ancient debris and get some netherite going for the Christmas event uh, prizes. Uh, we're also going to get the resources that we need for this build and might even go and check out some bastions, see if we can get some uh, pig step and stuff like that for, for ourselves and for maybe one extra if we're lucky for the Christmas event. And then, yeah, we'll build this in the next episode. I promise you guys that for sure. And uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's about, okay, it's, it's three, it's, uh, about 50% wider and a hell of a lot taller. So yeah, it's, it, I, I could have put it in this episode, but then this episode would get a little bit too long. And yeah, we don't want that. So in the next episode, that's 100% going to be the thing that we do. So if you guys enjoyed this, Please do leave a like if you have any suggestions, leave some comments down below. And if you'd like to see more of this, please consider subscribing. And as always, I will see you guys in the next episode. Have a great day and goodbye. Ooh, I'm looking snazzy.